What is going on guys, Coach Ray here from Lion's Den. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys five tips on how to not make any progress in the gym. That's right, you heard me. Five tips on how to not make any progress. Now, why would I wanna tell you guys five things that will make zero progress in the gym? Well, because our brain is more uh, wired to see the problem than the solution. So if we can identify the problem, we can then flip it to then show us the solution, okay? So I'm gonna go through these five things relatively quick, quickly, and then we're gonna flip them to then show you guys what the solution actually is. And you'll get what I'm saying as we go through it. So the first one is, if you wanna make no progress, do not have a plan. I do not want you guys to come up with any sort of plan whatsoever, okay? I want you guys to stay right where you're at, and I want you guys to be running circles around, chasing your tail the entire time. So no progress is gonna be having no plan. Second one is going to be Program hop. If you guys don't want to make results, I want you hopping from program to program to program. I don't want you guys to complete these programs. I want you guys to put in maybe a week, maybe a couple days into one program and then hop to the next one and just keep doing that. Okay, keep on doing that. And that is going to make sure that you are getting zero progress in the gym. So continue to program hop. Uh, the third one is going to be keep doing things that aren't working. Okay, if you find something that's not working, I want you to just keep running headfirst into that thing because that is gonna be what stops progress and that is what we're after here, not making any progress. Next one's gonna be taking advice from people who don't know what they're talking about, okay? So if you guys wanna make zero progress, find someone who doesn't look the part, is not educated whatsoever in the subject material and do what they're telling you to do, okay? Find those people, find those people who are going to keep you in the trenches and in the mud uh, and never get you out. Those people are gems and I want you to find them. Last one is gonna be, do not ask questions. So if you have a question that arises in your mind that you think could help you possibly, I don't want you to ask it. I don't want you to gain any knowledge whatsoever. And I want you guys to stay stuck right where you're at. <laughs> Hopefully you can see what I did there. Okay, now we're gonna go through what I just said. And that was the problem. Now we're gonna flip it into the solution, all right? So now we're gonna just reframe the whole thing. Five ways to make progress in the gym. So the first one is have a plan. You absolutely need a plan, okay? You need to know where you're going, how to get from point A to point B. We need to have some sort of structure. If we don't have a plan, we are planning to fail, all right? So make sure you have that plan and then we can execute that plan. And none of these other things are gonna matter unless we have our set plan based around the goals that we have, whether that be nutrition, whether that be strength training, et cetera. We need the plan. Second one's gonna be do not program hop. Stop program hopping. Obviously, if you run a program in its entirety and you didn't get results, maybe it's time for you to change it up or make some adjustments to that program. But often what I see is people get on a program, they do it for a couple weeks and they get off of it and they switch to the next best thing that they think in their mind is what works or they get another coach that they think has all these magical answers and isn't doing the same thing that everybody else is doing. Uh, so stay consistent with your programming and it's gonna deliver amazing results down the road, okay? So try not to be changing it up too consistently uh, and making sure that you're seeing things all the way through. The next one is gonna be, if you find something that's working, keep doing it, okay? Sometimes the answer is right in front of our face where you're like, you know, I just keep increasing my frequency and I'm getting good results. Well, guess what? Keep increasing the frequency and you're gonna get great results. Uh, you know, or if you're doing something in the gym that you just find is working very well, why would you change it? If it's not broken, don't try to fix it. Just keep doing it over and over and over again until those results no longer happen. But sometimes I feel like people think they have to consistently, you know, just like the programming hop, hop uh, the programming hopping topic is they feel like that they have to change things. And sometimes you don't have to change things. Sometimes you have to keep doing what you're doing because it's, it's clearly working. So stay with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, take advice from people who know what they're talking about. Okay, you wanna make sure that the people you're following, the people you surround yourself with, know the subject matter and they know it well so that you can trust them with what they're saying and you can implement that into your strategy or you can take that with you when you go to the gym and when you do your training, okay? Find people that you mesh with, find people that have um, you know, the, the experience, they look the part and, and they just have the knowledge that, uh, and credentials that you're looking for uh, for what your specific goals are. So that, that's kind of a no-brainer for me. And last one is ask questions. How many times do we feel stuck and we don't ask something when that one thing that we ask could be the major breakthrough that helps us 
crush that barrier or run through that wall or make the, the gains happen that we haven't seen or, or had in some period of time. So don't be afraid to ask questions, guys, You know, whether it's to me in the comments section, whether it's to your coach that you have or at a forum or, or other people in the community, make sure you're just trying to vocalize uh, questions and, and because that's gonna make you better. That's what's gonna help you gain knowledge and, and just advance you along in your journey. So. That's all I had in this video, kind of a strange video. We started off with the problem first, then we came up with the solution, but I thought it was kind of a cool way to frame it. And I often do this a lot uh, when it comes to things in my life or whether it's a business question, a training question. You know, I first start off with uh, the opposite and then I find the solutions uh, from assessing the problem, okay? So that's all we have for today, guys. If you are interested in any programs or anything like that, we have the Zastering Programming app, which I'll put down in the description. 17 plus programs, maybe more at the time of this video that's releasing. Uh, so I guarantee you there's a program on you or for you on there. And we have Zastering.net, which is our content platform. We have the gym, which is the Lions Den, all sorts of cool stuff there. Uh, so any way you guys can support means the absolute world to me, even if it's simply liking this video, sharing and subscribing to the channel, goes a long way. So. Stay in Lean Mean Strength Machine. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.